Yesterday, Democrats on the House Appropriations Committee passed an amendment to a defense spending bill that would effectively destroy Donald Trump's ability to launch an attack against Iran. And this amendment that, by the way, every Republican on that committee voted against would basically put a sunset onto the AUMF, the Authorization for Use of Military Force. That has been in place since several days after the 9-11 attacks, and it has been used since then as justification for conflict 41 times in 18 different countries, the AUMF. And what it says is that if the executive branch or the DOD, you know, Pentagon, if they believe that they can go out there and stamp out the bad guys, but not necessarily launch a full-fledged war, they have the authority to do that. Prior to the AUMF, any act like that would be considered basically an act of war. Congress would have to approve the involvement. This thing passed after 9-11, the AUMF, uh, basically took that away because the Bush administration argued like, we don't have time for a congressional vote. We may need to go over there, get the bad guys, get in, get out and it just stayed forever. Bush used it, Obama's used it, Trump has used it, they've all used it, and this administration right now is telling us that they wanna use it again, or they may have to use it as justification to attack Iran. 41 times already, 18 different countries. Why has this not already been pulled off the books? Why has it not already been sunsetted? Well, it's because the people in Washington, D.C. love a good war. Defense contractors obviously need a good war, a good fight, a good enemy to get the United States to go over there and blast because that's how they make all their money. And that's money that they then pass along in the form of campaign contributions to members of both parties. And that's why this thing still exists. In fact, there actually was an effort led by Republicans, believe it or not, in 2017, to go ahead and get rid of the AUMF. Uh, it passed the committee. So the Republicans back then said, yeah, we need to uh, get rid of this thing. But then uh, Paul Ryan would not let it come to a full house vote. So the amendment never passed. But that's what's super interesting here too, is a couple years ago, Republicans were like, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get rid of this, at least the ones on the appropriations committee. And then today, actually yesterday, technically, every Republican on that committee voted against the amendment to get rid of the AUMF. And they said, you know, maybe we should get rid of it, but the appropriations committee isn't the place to do it. You, but, but you did it. So I guess that would mean it is the place to do it. If you can do it there, then guess what? That's the place to do it. And obviously you can because you did it in the past. So why are you lying now? Is it because you don't want to be seen as the kind of Republican who doesn't want an endless war in Iran? Because that's how it seems to me. And I think too many from both sides of the aisle would be perfectly fine with this administration launching another unwinnable Middle Eastern war that does not have approval from Congress just because it's going to generate a lot more political campaign donations from the defense industry. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.